Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Emmanuel, what do we have today? We were talking about Sora 2 and it's wild. <laughs> yeah, I just released Sora 2. With it comes a brand new mobile app, which is now number one on the App Store and a new feature which lets you add yourself and others into any scene, any video game or whatever meme you want. And the internet is going crazy about it. And the best part is that it's actually completely free to use. How good is it? How well does it do with animations? Let's check it out. There are two ways to access Sora. Number one is from Sora.com and then there is the brand new mobile app which is just for iOS right now but you can download that and install it to access the two. Let's get started from Sora.com. Once you come up here, you're going to need an invite code either on the website or on the app. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can get my invite code and also a trick you can use to try to get more once mine is used up. So I've logged in here and I've added my invite code. So you're just going to go right here to the bottom. Make sure it's Sora 2 and not the old Sora. You can tell that by this little icon right here. And then simply just describe what you would like to see. So we're going to start with a simple prompt. And I'm going to say action movie high speed car chase. And let's see what it does. And those are the results. Not very high resolution, but very, very impressive with a lot of the animations, the physics, and lots of that. Let's try one more. Wow, we can now speak. <laughs> yes, I sound good. We can talk now. Wait, I actually, this is wild. You can hear me? I can't. Unbelievable. <laughs> Best day ever. Yes, it can now speak. Just like VO3, Sora can now generate sound. Both dialogue, sound effects, music, and all of it. And we're gonna be putting all of that to the test in this video. And let me show you an example of how you can control exactly what the character says. So here's another example where I just prompted in a dimly lit interrogation room, the detective leans forward and growls. So by that, I'm giving it a prompt. Then in quotes, I put what I want said the detective to say. And then I've also said that the suspect uh, uh, says, wouldn't you like to know detective? And then I've added what the background music should look like. I've added thunder in the room. Let's see how it adheres to the prompt. And let's see what we have. Where were you last night at 9 p.m.? Wouldn't you like to know? Detective. So as you can see, it adheres very well to that prompt. And quite impressive, actually, that generation. Apart from the fact that the generation is not high def, you can also see the lightning and thunder outside in the background of the window. A quick pro tip, typically I use ChatGPT to help me format the prompt. So you can just give ChatGPT, tell it what your scene is supposed to be and ask it to generate for your Sora 2 prompt. And most of the times it helps you better with this. Another thing I've seen people doing is uploading a screenplay to it where it now takes the camera movement, the mood of the scene and also the dialogue. I've also seen some people doing some time bound where you can give it timestamps of what should be happening minute by minute and people seem to be getting quite some good um, results from that. I'm still testing this out. I have another video coming and I'm going to put all of my findings in that video. So let's see if you can create videos in the likeness of prominent people. So I have one here of Martin Luther King rapping on AGT. Yo, I stepped to the mic with a vision in sight, painting the colors of justice and light. I dreamed of a day when the world would agree that the skin on your body won't limit your reach. I dreamed of the tables where freedom can eat, of streets where equality moves to the beat. And no problem there, both Abraham Lincoln and uh, Martin Luther King, no problem there, uh, dropping the rap. I tried another one of Albert Einstein giving a TED talk about ice cream. People often ask me why I care about ice cream. Because in something so simple, you taste science, art and memory at once. Now, if you start doing of prominent, famous people of recent times, then you might start getting content policy uh, block violation like the one here we tried of Taylor Swift. All right, let's move to the mobile app. Just like the website, you would also need an invite code for this. And once you've done that, uh, let's look at some things that are quite interesting about the mobile app. First of all, it's been designed like a social media app like TikTok or Instagram Reels, where you can see a feed of all publicly posted uh, videos that have been generated from within Sora so you can consume them and the internet has been going wild creating different types of memes that are quite funny here are two examples you know why I pulled you over wait is that a giraffe uh, sir ma'am step out of the vehicle for me all right who's off the wheel buddy? I have a dream that I'm never gonna give you up never gonna let you down never gonna run around and desert you but I think more interestingly is this new feature that they're calling cameos where you can create your likeness and generate videos from it. All you need to do is record yourself for about three seconds, saying some numbers that you see on the screen, plus you record your face for about five more seconds. 
and with just that short clip it's able to recreate your likeness your voice and how you look in videos which is quite scary how good this technology is getting you can make this either public or you can make these camions private i have made mine public so feel free to use my camion to generate what you want you can follow me here is my handle it's at crown emmanuel and if you tag at crown emmanuel in any camion you can generate videos of me i hope i do not regret that but anyways we do that for the fun of technology so once you've created your cameo all you simply do is you can put at your username so like i said mine is at emmanuel and i've prompted myself in a james bond movie and let's see what that looks like I got eyes on the target. Well, it does not 100% look like me, but it would pass. It's fun for a social media meme, not for a serious project. I've done another one also of me in a GTA style game. And this one I actually really, really like. It's actually pretty cool. And you can add several people in the videos. That's how I did the intro video with me and Sam Altman. I don't know what the limit is, but I've done up to three, four people and it worked fine. So you can try several people and see what the limit is on that. So if you follow this channel for a while, you know that I do a lot of animation based content. So I'm going to be putting it to the test like I did VO3 to see how well it does on several categories of animations. We'll start with a couple of 2D styled animations and then we're going to go to 3D stylized animations and see which ones the model handle or if it does it any better than VO3 does. Importantly, when you're prompting for cartoon styles from different studios, uh, do not put the name of the studio. You know, typically we would put like Pixar style or Disney style. It will reject it and say it's a content policy violation. Uh, so just describe generally what those cartoons look like. And I'm going to show you a couple of my prompts as we go along. So let's start in the category of 2D animations. So we're going to start with a classic hand-drawn animation and let's see what that looks like. Here's the prompt. And one of the secret sauce in this is using the prompt to use multiple camera angles. You can leave it at that or you can actually go ahead and describe the different camera angles. And you're going to see Sora changing the camera shot as it does the animations, which gives you a more impressive and more sort of realistic looking video. <sighs> Another night on the road. Will we ever find it? Only if you stop doubting yourself. And wow, right off the bat, apart from the fact that the resolution is quite low, I'm quite impressed with this. There are not that many artifact morphing or weirdness going on with the characters like we had with Google VO3. So right off the bat, it is beating Google VO3 in the 2D animation style, at least the hand-drawn. If you watch my Google VO3 video, in almost all the 2D style animations, it had a lot of artifact in it and it struggled a little bit with that so i'm quite impressed with what we have here apart from the fact that the resolution is low which we can upscale uh, with an upscaler to kind of get it to look better all right let's try another style of hand-drawn animation this time around we're going to do a black and white pencil style someday i'll make this dream real i believe in you and yet again that is quite impressive i cannot right off the bat see much artifacts being generated so it is seeming to be handling this style of animations quite well let's take it a bit further and let's do some comic book style animations and here's the prompt that i have right here on the screen you can see it you'll never get away with this <laughs> oh i already have not if we stop you first that's where he's hiding then let's light it up can we at least stop for pizza first Whoa, I am more impressed with this than even the previous one. This is almost kind of ready to go as is. And I can use this to do like comic style animations. So quite impressive. But even more impressive, I think I'm very impressed with the way it's done, the sound design and combine them together. Looks quite, quite, quite impressive. All right, let's try one of my personal favorites, which is anime. And let's look at some anime style drama. And here's the prompt that I've put on there. If you think I'm giving up, you're wrong. Then I'll fight by your side. Huh? And again, for this, I did expect it to do well because they kind of uh, focused on that during their live stream. And just as expected, not bad at all. The output and results we're getting from this are actually quite, quite good. So far, this is beating Google VO3 in terms of 2D style animations. All right, let's go to Uncle Big Disney. Let's try some old classic style Disney animations. You can't even read it! Doesn't matter, I smell gold! <laughs> You'll never catch him, you know. 
And even this was pretty well nailed. I do not have much complaints on this. It's quite, quite great the way it captures the etiquette and the voices and the sound design and also the animation. Smooth and no sort of artifact at all. So finally, let's close this out with like motion graphic style animation, the explainer style video. Step one, track your spending. And don't forget budgeting apps. Don't throw me away. Recycle me. Together, we keep the planet clean. And wow, I must say I am impressed with the animation of that. And this is probably one of those practical use cases, if not for the watermark, that you can actually use this to do uh, full explainer style videos because, again, it's kind of free to use. If you would like me to do a dedicated video on how to create explainer style videos on using ChatGPT, let me know. And I'm going to uh, do a video dedicated on that to show you how you can combine this and create short, quick explainer style videos with it. But quite impressive. All right, finally, as we close out the 2D animations, let's see if we can get away with actually prompting for some copyrighted characters. So let's try with SpongeBob. Uh, guys, there's a talking sponge on the table. Whoa, uh, yeah, hey, hey, SpongeBob, what are you doing in our I show? Guess I took and it doesn't seem to have a problem with doing that. It's allowed that. And I'm going to try with Batman. Uh, does this cape make me look silly? Kid, the cape makes you a legend. And finally, let me do a combination of uh, Dexter and Avatar. So, Dexter, have you found inner peace yet? Inner peace? Ha! I cannot have peace with my sister Dee Dee always around. Guess that's fair. All right, it nailed 2D animations pretty well, and I'm quite impressed. Uh, a little bit better than Google VO3. Let's see how well it does on 3D stylized animation. Let's start with the classic Pixar style animations. Like I said, do not add the word Pixar. That's the prompt that I used there. Program to clean pizza stains. Then upgrade your software, buddy. And surprisingly, that is not bad at all. Apart from the robot arm that is sort of disoriented a little bit out there, uh, the rest of it actually was handled pretty well. Here was another example. Why do you keep ignoring my updates? Wait, you can talk? In this case, everything was pretty much okay until we got to the physics of the water. And it's supposed to be really great at physics, but it really messed up the physics of the water there. Uh, let's go to DreamWorks. Uh, we'll try for animals to see how well it does the animations of animals. You don't stand a chance. We'll see about that. Slow and steady wins, remember? <laughs> this is gonna be good! Leadership is about wisdom, not claws. Or maybe it's about bananas! a brand new day your voice carries hope for us all and maybe a breakfast worm for me google vo3 nailed this one very well but also uh, sora is doing that pretty well and i'm really really impressed all right finally before we go it also supports image to video but it won't let you upload any image that has any sort of human face in it but if you uploaded an image of a cartoon or anything like that and prompt it it will animate those uh, pretty well and you should be fine all right, let's talk about how you can access this. This is currently only available in the US and Canada, but you can easily use a VPN. There are lots of free VPN apps that you can install to get access to it. Also, it's now currently only invite only, so you need an invite code. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, it's been quite difficult to get invite codes, but if you scroll down, there's a little Easter egg in the description of this video at the very end you're gonna see an invite code my invite code feel free to use that it's only good for the first four people that use it then after that it expires i also have some instructions to a discord uh channel on there where people are constantly posting new uh invite codes so check out that discord channel and you might be able to grab one for yourself also if you're a member of the channel i have posted an invite code on the member section a few people have used those uh those are still good to use i think for four people four more people and i'll keep posting more there as i as they come available so if you remember check out the member section for a post from me with some invite codes on there so i'll be diving deeper into this i have another video coming that shows you how to put yourself into a cartoon and use this to animate yourself and do consistent character for a longer videos and consistent voices if you want to see that make sure you subscribe to the channel so you see that when that comes out thank you for stopping by Keep learning.